so this is going to be part two of the video so the reason why i stopped the from the part one video that i did is because the data that i had was just some random number that were, mm. was generated by by church cp so now i tried to go through the internet and find an actual experiment data so that if we actually plot the curve it kind of look like um the one that we want remember what you're trying to achieve let me get my pen we're trying to get a graph like this one it should be like this should be straightening maybe some opinion and then it's continue so i'm hoping to get something like this so that's why i had to go grab the actual data from the internet so let's continue now so with the force and uh, these are my displacements or my strains if i should say so let me say i make up some area this is just a random number that i'm making up what if I say area and then I say that area is equals to what is a good number? Mm, let me say 45. And remember this um this there are no units involved here, so I don't really care about the units or the correct ones. I just want to show you how it works. So I don't know what unit is that, I'll just use it as whatever unit is it. Okay, cool, that's nice. Now we have the area, so we know that uh stress uh my computer is misbehaving but it's fine uh stress st what is stress let me write here for reference what is stress is equals to force all over area so what we're trying to achieve we're going to say this force all over this area okay cool so we're going to say force oh so equal sign then we're going to say this force divided by this area but remember absolute referencing okay we're trying to hold exactly that cell with the area don't try we're not trying to get something else okay good uh i don't know how, why it's not doing well oh that dollar sign was was in a very long wrong place okay let me go and hold the g also with the dollar sign cool so obviously uh, the force is zero that means we have no stress okay let's look if we're trying to compute for all of them i don't know how many are they okay that's nice can i still go further oh that is i didn't need that stuff okay cool so now we have all our what do you call them our st force over area our stress so we can now try to calculate our strain how is this, what is strain Strain, let me put it here for you again. Strain is going to be your what? Your change in length all over or length original, right? Okay, let's try to write that here on Excel. So let me zoom in so that you get a better view. Okay, um, let's see. Um, what did I say? Change in length. So it's going to be okay. Let me start with an equal sign. It's going to equal to this length minus. I'm trying to do change minus this length specifically. Uh, and then I think brackets will make a good sense. That's what I just said. Okay, I don't know what I did there. I'm trying to put brackets. Okay. Okay. Cool. Then I'm trying to say that things should be divided by the original length of which is this length. Okay, let me say D31 because they don't want to say it. 31. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's kept or not. But remember that we are trying to make sure that we're not changing the cell with 100. So we're going to put, hold it. You know, hold things with dollar sign right. And then we hold it even below. We even hold we hold the row and column okay cool so obviously in the first beginning this thing is not strain right let's see what will happen throughout okay let's try to drag this thing what am i doing let's try to please behave okay we've been arguing a little with my com my computer but i uh okay we're trying to drag this do all the calculations for the whole rows Okay, that's nice. So now that we know that the this thing was strained fifteen, 
1.5 that's the ratio okay cool so we can plot this now right isn't this a good data now we can plot strain stress okay let me try and make it look good at eagle so i tried just to make it look good at eagle we can also remove my formulas here i don't think we will have any need for them so okay let's try to continue let's plot so we're going to have insert okay it's also misbehaving okay insert then we're trying to insert um the chart this one with curve is better scatter with curves is way better for the work that we're trying to achieve let me squeeze it a little for now uh, and put it just here hope here you can see it i just added this a plot nothing much okay then i said insert data okay add data remember what what do i call this let me just say we use that as a name okay cool for x remember we said let's look like this strain here then stress here so so on the on the x we have strain so we have all of these here and then on the y we have all of this and then we say okay what is our problem we have i said we have all of these here on the y okay that's look almost good oh yes that's almost what we were trying to achieve can it look like this that's very nice so that's how you plot your strain and stress curve.